Good morning, student of class 11th. Children, as you know, we were doing Indo-Islamic architecture. And today is the same, but title is Kol Gumbaj of Bijapur. This is an example of Indo-Islamic architecture. The first one and second is Kutum Minar. So let's start Kol Gumbaj of Bijapur. Uh, children, go. this is the title. Now medium, dark, gray. Decorated plaster work. Period 1627 to 57 AD. Built in 1659. Period. Sorry. Dynasty Adil Shah. Size 185 square meter. It means 600 feet. Curtsy Archaeological Survey of India. Now description. The Gol Gumbad of or Mesolian or Muhammad Adil Shah II is the largest tomb cubicle in the world and the largest, the most prominent building in Bijapur. It was built in 1659 AD at the archaeological, sorry, R, at the architectural zenith of the Adil Shah dynasty, probably by a master builder, Yakut Dubal. This masterpiece of Muslim architecture and splendor is one of the most celebrated in India. The mausoleum is actually a building complex with a gateway orchestra space, a square and several located within a large wall garden. The tomb resembles a giant cube crowned by a large hemispherical dome resting on a circular drum. The row of petal at the base of the dome and wonderful foliage design on the drum complement each other. This dome with a diameter of 125 feet covers a total interior surface of over 18.337 square feet. The hemispherical dome over a square base was constructed with the help of pendentives. These pendentives not only gave a stable shape to the dome but also evenly transferred its weight to the walls below. It has seven story octagonal octagonal to towers at each of four corners capped by a smaller dome. These towers have several small arch window on every story. Winding staircases connected each tower to the main building and further up till the top of the dome. This most outstanding feature of this building is the Whispering Gallery, 3.4 meter wide, resting on its interior at the level of the drum, dome's level, dome space. It has had a finest echo where a whisper, clap or sound gets echoed around seven times. A circular balcony border, the dome that overlook this whispering gallery. The exterior has a heavenly back brackets frame resting on existing on all four sides, adding to its overall appeal. Its interior construction includes bits consisting of a square grave chamber underground and a large massive single square chamber above ground. The tomb chamber contains the buried place of the Sultan, his wife and other relatives, while their real grave lies perpendicularly below in a wallet reached by stairs. Children, this is Gol Gumbaj of Bijapur from Indo-Islamic Architecture.